Currently, 97 countries have GSPC focal points, and we would like to see more focal points appointed. Um, another significant action has to be the integration of the GSPC targets into all the relevant thematic and cross-cutting programs of the work of the CBD. So that's something that will be going on at an international policy level. And then development of national strategies and targets, because each country can decide how to set their own targets that will reflect the global ambitions. And then those specific plant conservation targets are integrated into the national biodiversity strategies and action plans. So uh, where are we now globally? Well, this map just uh, tries to show broadly where there's activity going on, either through uh, development of national or regional strategies to implement the GSPC, that's the countries and, and regions in red, uh, botanic gardens uh, network strategies that reflect the GSPC, the countries in green, and then the countries in turquoise are those uh, that have a GSPC focal point. So there's, there's activity going on globally. Of course, there's lots more that can be done, but I think it just shows that the GSPC has been taken up and, and is being implemented. So um, the, at a policy level, the GSPC targets um, are, have to be incorporated into the new national biodiversity action plans that take into account the targets of the CBD's strategic plan for biodiversity. So there's all these different layers of activity within which um, plant conservation fits. And the overall strategic plan for biodiversity leading up to 2020 calls for a um, country to take effective and urgent action to halt the loss of biodiversity in order to ensure that by 2020, ecosystems are resilient, continue to provide essential services, uh, securing the planet's variety of life and contributing to human well-being and poverty eradication. And I don't think any of those things can be achieved without uh, a really strong emphasis on the conservation of plant diversity. All the, um, all the targets of the GSPC contribute directly to CBD's biodiversity targets. There are some copies of the current GSPC targets um, at the back of the room. I have plenty more if anyone would like a copy of that. Um, so the, the, work of, the work that's going on within this region that helps to contribute towards the GSPC, the East Asian Botanic Garden Network that was established in 2005, um, there's work going on to policy level with uh, GSPC focal points uh, appointed for various countries within the East Asian uh, region. Um, they are in turn working with uh, different stakeholders at a national level and involved in policy development and setting national targets for GSPC and monitoring and reporting. So that's a, that's a process that's ongoing and, and more can be done and then sharing information and ideas within the network. Um, there's a lot of practical conservation activity going on within the botanic garden of this region. Uh, we've already heard again about the identifying uh, priority species for conservation action which will help to meet target two of the GSPC both in Japan and then the consolidated uh, list of threatened species for the region. Collaborative research between different countries, botanic gardens of different countries and staff exchanges which contribute to the targets on developing protocols for plant conservation and uh, networking. Implementing targets 8 which relates to exit to conservation, target 14 which relates to education is something that's very, very uh, relevant for botanic gardens, capacity assessments of information gathering and exchange. So there's a lot already happening. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, target 8 of the GSPC which again has already been mentioned in the context of Japan. The target globally is to have at least 75% of 
of threatened plant species in ex situ collections, preferably in the country of origin, and at least 20% of them available for recovery and restoration programs, and that feeds directly into target 15 of the strategic plan for biodiversity. So um, we not only need ex situ um, collections, but we need uh, ex situ collections with good genetic representation, good information, provenance level information, so that they might be available for restoration programs. Um, looking at the progress towards to target eight at a global level, um, about 23% of IUCN red listed species, plant species, are held in ex situ collections based on the information that BGCI holds. Uh, regional assessments have shown that about 42% of the um, threatened plants in Europe are held in ex situ collections and roughly the same amount, 39% for North America. So um, that's, that's quite a good uh, level of progress and in Japan as we've heard the progress has been better than that at a national level. One of the constraints is that we really do need to have a lot more IUCN red listing for plant species so that we can uh, check whether or not the threatened species are in ex situ collections. Uh, target 14, we all know about, that still remains very, very important because I think people don't yet fully appreciate the importance of plant diversity and why it's so important to conserve plants, although we all try um, our best to promote uh, that particular target. Uh, target 15, we do need to continue to increase the capacity for plant conservation, um, the number of trained people working with appropriate facilities, sufficient according to national needs to achieve the target of the strategy. That's, that's the, the current target within the GSPC. Uh, and I think in many countries, capacity is declining rather than increasing. So um, I've probably talked for long enough, but I just wanted to um, briefly mention some of the work uh, that BGCI is doing and the ways that we can work with botanic gardens within this region and, uh, and elsewhere to help to implement the global strategy. Um, we have a, um, a partnership agreement with the CBD Secretariat to help implement the GSPC. And one of the things that we have been doing is developing a GSPC online toolkit with various resources provided by various different organisations that will help to um, make it easier to implement the uh, global strategy, at least by having all the different tools, techniques, resources available in one place. Uh, we are supporting uh, red listing, IUCN red list assessments for plant species, particularly uh, tree species, and are very keen to work with people within this region um, on, on, on that particular activity. Uh, we maintain the plant search database, which helps monitor pro progress on ex situ plant collections. Uh, we've recently launched the um, Ecological Restoration Alliance of Botanic Gardens and we're going to put increasing emphasis on, on restoration activities over the coming years. Um, so there's, a, there's a, quite a lot of ways that we um, can work with Botanic Gardens to, to help implement the GSPC. Uh, that just shows you the um, GSPC toolkit um, that is, uh, will be available in English, French and Spanish uh, by November when the next um, big convention CBD meeting is being held in India and it will be available so shortly after that in Chinese as well and we are doing, uh, uh, translating some of it into Arabic. Um, the BGCI databases, I'm sure, People who are involved in botanic gardens here are familiar with them. Garden Search, uh, the online database of botanic gardens around the world, and the Plant Search database of plant species in cultivation in botanic gardens. 
Um, according to the information that we have in garden search, there are 51 botanic gardens in Korea, but we don't have very much information about those particular gardens, so it would be really useful to visit them next week and work with the Korean Botanic Garden Association to find out ways that we can uh, publicize what you're doing through our global uh, database. And you can use the Garden Search uh, database to find out about the skills and expertise and resources of botanic gardens around the world. Uh, plant search uh, is the list of plants in cultivation. We have records from about 600 botanic gardens, and we link that to the IUCN Red List, Sun National Red List, partial list of additional plants, crop guard relatives, the 